Hey everybody, it's day four of Vacation Bible School and it's crazy hat and crazy hair day. And as you can see, I've got both of those pretty well covered. Um, I was in my basement looking for some stuff last night and I found the rain stick. If you've been to Vacation Bible School before, you remember the rain stick. And the rain stick is designed to make the sound of gently falling rain. So I thought I'd bring that up and let you hear that this year. And I found another one of our animal friends. Oops. Oh, well. There's Olivia the owl. So I thought you might like getting a chance to see her today. Today, you guys get my Nobody's Perfect presentation. Um, I think most of you know that I used to be a teacher. And near the beginning of the year, every year, I would, I would dig these out of my closet. And these actually were my shoes. Um, these, are, these are 64 years old. And this metal bar in between is called, I keep a little note in the shoe because I never remember the name. This is called a fill hour splint. And let me tell you the story of the little shoes and I'll tell you the story of the fill hour splint. Um, I was born pigeon toed. Now, you may or may not know what pigeon toed means, but I'll see if I can show you real quick. You know when you stand up and your feet, your toes are supposed to point straight ahead? Well, my toes did not point straight ahead. I was a tiny little baby, and my toes, instead of pointing straight like that, they pointed to the middle. And that's called pigeon toes. And the problem is, is my feet were so pigeon toed and my toes turned in so much that they were really, really afraid that my hip joints would not develop properly. Because when babies are born, their bones are really, really soft. And if my toes had kept pointing in like that, my hip joints wouldn't, wouldn't have developed properly. So for every single time I slept for the first 18 months of my life, I wore shoes that were attached to one another by a metal bar. Um, and you know, don't, don't feel too sorry for me because I, I never, I didn't know any different. I just thought that everybody wore shoes to bed and everybody's shoes were connected by a metal bar. Um, and in a way it, I did kind of find an advantage to it because I do really remember being in my crib as a tiny baby and if I woke up and I wanted out of the crib, I would lift up my legs and I would bang this bar against the side of the crib. And guess what? Every single time, somebody would come to get me out. Um, and you know what? It turned out okay because I can walk just fine. Um, I can run. I took dancing lessons. I swim. Um, there's still a couple things I can't do. If you take dancing lessons, I can't do first position. It just doesn't happen. That's where you stand and you you hold your, your your heels together and your toes are supposed to point out. And it just doesn't happen for me. I can't do lotus position, which is where you sit on the floor and it's not crisscross applesauce. You sit on the floor and you pull those feet up. I can't do that, but that's okay. And the reason that I used to tell my nobody's perfect story, because I sure wasn't born perfect. Actually, probably nobody was born perfect. And none of us are perfect. None of us are perfect physically. None of us are perfect um, in the way we behave and the way we treat each other. And guess what? Jesus loves you even if you're not perfect, even if you make mistakes, even if sometimes you do things wrong, even if your feet aren't perfect on the day that you're born. So always remember that. Always remember that Jesus loves you even when you're not perfect, even when you make mistakes, and even when you do things wrong. And let's finish up today. We'll just say the Lord's Prayer together. Take your right hand, the one that isn't the L, and let's do, in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, amen. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Amen.
in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Have a wonderful Thursday.